Yo, hello and welcome to this video guys. In this video, I'm gonna be talking about this camera right here. This is the Leica M240. I've had this camera for around three months and in today's video, I just want an excuse to talk about it, share my first impressions, show the images that I've taken on this camera and talk to you guys about why I like it so much but why I'm also choosing to sell this camera. Okay, so the first thing that I want to talk about is the image quality coming from this camera. The sensor is amazing, even though I believe this camera is around 11 years old. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was released in 2012. I could be wrong on that though. But regardless, the images coming from this camera are amazing. The sensor is great when it has light. One thing that I noticed when I first brought the files into Lightroom is how easy they are to edit. The process that I use to edit these photos is super simple. I do lens corrections, uh, sharpening. And then after that, I have a preset that does a really light color grade, which is usually to add green in the shadows and then either warming up or cooling down the midtones and the highlights. After that, I tweak the curves a little bit, mess around in the HSL panel, and then I'm done. Sometimes I can edit a photo in a minute or two, and then I copy those settings and then I paste them to as many other photos as I can and make tweaks if I need to. Before I got this camera, I had three criteria that for me would make the perfect camera. And those consisted of a full frame sensor, an optical viewfinder, and a mirrorless camera. And this is technically a mirrorless camera. I know it's a rangefinder, but there is no mirror in it. So therefore it is a mirrorless camera, one could say. And the reason why in my mind, those would make the perfect camera is because a mirrorless camera is small, it's compact, it's easy to travel with. I love composing images and just looking through an optical viewfinder for me. EVFs are great, you know, I think a lot of people can agree with that when it comes to previewing your exposure and all that jazz that you get with an EVF. But for me, EVFs feel very uninspiring, you know, versus an optical viewfinder. I think, I don't know, they just look, they just look so cool. It, it's looking through and composing an image through an optical viewfinder is just something else. It reminds me of shooting film, but the convenience of a digital camera so you can edit the files immediately. Now I've kind of just talked about all the things that I like about this camera, but I do want to talk about some of the downsides that I've found with this camera. And the first one is that it's limiting if you want to consider that a downside. No one buys a camera like this expecting it to be the best at everything. And I think if you look at things on paper, this is probably almost the worst at everything. You know, it, It's almost a fully manual camera. You have manual focus, manual aperture. You get aperture priority mode and you can also have auto ISO if you want. But besides that, you kind of have to do everything by yourself. And you also have a rangefinder for your viewfinder, which isn't necessarily the most accurate way of viewing your images. So yes, it can be limiting, but I think for myself and many other people, those limitations can garner creativity, which is, I think, a great thing. Another thing that isn't that great, but also to be expected, is the low light performance isn't that great. Generally speaking, it, it's fine. I'll put up an image right now and I'll kind of zoom in on it and you can see that there is fixed pattern noise. That image was shot at f2, 1 50th of a second at ISO 6400, which is the highest ISO that this camera can go to. And I think the image is fine. If you really zoom in, then yes, you can see the fixed pattern noise, but no one is buying this camera to be a low light beast. Now, the next thing that is not a great thing about this camera, you could say, is the advanced metering mode. As a metering mode, it's fantastic. However, it really slows down your camera and listen to this as an example. You can see I'm, I'm pushing the button but it takes, I don't know, two or three seconds in between shots to be able to take another picture. However, if I change that to the classic meter mode, listen to how much faster the camera becomes. Last thing that I want to touch on is the screen. I've said this, I think this is the third time I've said this in the video. I totally get it. This camera is probably 11 years old from my guess, but the screen isn't that great. The resolution obviously isn't that high, but that's really not an issue for me. Um, the only thing that is kind of an issue though, is it can be a little dark sometimes. So that there have been times that I take a picture and I look at it on the back of the screen and I think it's severely underexposed. And then you just take a look at the histogram. The histogram looks fine. And then when I bring it into my editing system, 
it's just fine. The, the picture looks just fine. So it's not really a big deal. If you just trust the metering that you do, and if you really get scared, like I said, just look at the histogram. If the histogram's fine, the image is fine. It's just sometimes the screen looks a little bit dark. Oh yeah, I should also mention the lenses. I haven't mentioned those at all. So on the camera currently, I have the Zeiss 50 millimeter F2 planar. And then right here, I have the Voigtlander 28 millimeter F2 Ultron. Both are fantastic lenses. Okay, and the last thing that I want to talk about is who is this camera for and should you buy it? I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I feel like I'm not qualified to speak on that because I don't know who you are. I don't know your financial situation. I don't know your shooting situation or anything. I, I have no clue. So for me, this is just not the right camera because I need I need a digital camera that can do more. This is my only digital camera and there's so many limit limitations. The camera that I'm shooting with isn't even mine. This is my girlfriend's that I'm borrowing. So that's... The main reason that why I'm selling this camera is because I want a hybrid camera, one that can take very high quality photos and one that can take very high quality videos. And unfortunately, this can only do one of those and that's take high quality photos. One thing I've been telling myself is me selling this camera, me getting rid of this camera is not a forever goodbye to the Leica M system. It's more of a see you later because this is a system that I would love to get back into in the future. It's just that right now, it doesn't make sense for me to keep this camera because it doesn't do the things that I need or the things that I want it to. So for those reasons, that is why I'm getting rid of this camera. Okay, and the last thing I wanna talk about which is unrelated to the Leica M240 and is also not a digital camera is this bad boy right here. This is the Pentax 6.7. This is actually the third Pentax 6.7 I've owned. I don't have three of them currently. I've sold the other two, but I'm, I'm getting back into the Pentax 6.7. And that is yet another reason why I'm selling this camera because I wanna make more YouTube videos on this channel. And I'm really, really excited to take a lot of photos with this camera. And, um, and I just need something I can film myself with and also take digital pictures when I'm you know, going on trips and, and traveling around and, and stuff. So yeah, expect to see more videos on the channel and expect to see the Pentax 6.7 more often because it will be featured on this channel. Quite often, I, I already have some videos planned out for that camera. Anyways, that camera is besides the point. If you guys like what you saw, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. And also let me know down in the description below what you guys thought, or let me know down in the comments below what you guys thought of the images that I shared. And what are your thoughts on the Leica M system or the M240? I don't know, I just wanna hear what you guys have to say. Thank you guys for watching this video. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.